Today we're going to learn how to use the Orion OTP SMS plugin with the registration magic plugin. So guys, I already have the registration ma magic plugin installed. I'm just going to activate that. Activate this. It's been activated now and sure enough, you can see that you have a registration magic uh, admin tab open, uh, you know, available over here. And you've got all the forms, option and different settings for it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and look for the registration form and you can see that this is the ID we want to use for the registration um, form. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a page and name it as uh, registration magic. You can name it whatever you want, I'm just naming it for the reference. Magic register. Okay, I'm going to paste this uh, short code which the plugin provides and publish it. And all I have to do is go into this link into an incognito mode because I'm logged in, otherwise, it won't allow me to register or access this page. And sure enough, you can see that you've got the uh, register page for the plugin. Now you can currently see there's no mobile input, so if you want to go ahead and create a mobile verification uh, OTP functionality, all you have to do is uh, go on to the plugin. So currently I have the Orient OTP installed. So this is the setting page. I have the pro version installed. Currently you have an option to choose between the pro version or the premium version. Uh, you can install the pro version uh, from by buying it from our site, which is uh, the <coughs> imranse.com uh, Orient, and you can select the which one you want. Uh, or if you want the free one, then you can just go to WordPress and. Uh, get that from here okay <clears throat> the difference between the two the main difference is is basically the pro version would allow you to give an access to the transactional route uh, which is actually cheaper to buy a transaction credit compared to OTP credits and plus it gives you option to uh, use it with multiple countries uh, at a time however the free one will allow you to use uh, in any country but one country at a time <clears throat> are we coming back we need the auth key basically so you'll get the auth key by logging on to the um, message 91 by signing up buying their credits either for uh, OTP credits or the transactional credits uh, depending on which one which plugin version you've chosen the free or the premium one and then you come over here click on API then select the auth key <clears throat> and after selecting it uh, you know click on this it'll be copied come back in the settings page and then put this auth key over here and then go ahead and um, put the sender's ID, which you can choose what you can put whatever you want, but make sure it's a six characters and preferably in capital letters. Then the country code, uh, you can select whichever country you want to use it for, one country at a time for free one. And if you have bought the premium one like I'm using, then you can select all and it will give you an option for the user to enter the country code in the front end. <clears throat> so you can use it for multiple countries. The next thing you need is the mobile uh, number length. Uh, so this will be validating the, for this particular length and make sure that it is excluding the country code. Then the next thing you need is basically the route. Uh, so if you bought the if you've got the free one, you select select the OTP route, which should already be selected. And if you bought the uh, pr premium one, then you'll select the transactional route, uh, depending on what credit you bought. Coming back, the next thing we need, guys, is basically the form settings. So over here, let's see uh, what we need. So we need the contact form selector. The first thing we need, guys, is the unique body class name. Okay, so it's pretty easy to get. In fact, even if you're not a developer, you can just click on it, inspect element, look for the body tag. So this is my this is my body tag, and a unique class name would be the one with the page ID, because page IDs are unique. So I'll pick up this. On most of the form, this is similar. So page ID 157. So I'm just going to go come over here and make sure it's prefixed with dot since it's a class name and then put a space right here. Make sure there's no space between dot and the class name. And after space, we'll go ahead and um, go for the next one, which says that followed by the class name of the parent div of the form. So we look for the form now. Again, click on this input inspect element. Look for the nearest form. This is the form, and I want the parent of this form, the immediate parent. How do we know the immediate parent? We'll just go up and look for a div. 
So this is the div. How do we know it's the parent div, immediate parent div? We just click on it. If it gets closed, then it's, that means it's wrapping up the form. Okay, so we need this class name. So again, we'll just put dot over there and put a class name, okay? <clears throat> and so that's all we need in terms of the con contact form selector. The next thing we need, guys, is a submit button selector. So we'll come over here, we'll scroll down, and look for the submit button. So this is my submit button, basically, and the register. Okay, so we'll click that. Uh, okay, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong page, guys. Sorry, one moment. Sorry about that, guys. I had the previous page open, so I was looking at that form. So let's go back to the settings once again over here. Back to my contact form selector. I just want to make sure it's correct. So I'll come over here and do the same thing, inspect element on this form. Come back, look for the unique page ID. Unique page ID is page ID 159. So just change that to 159. And it says, and uh, the next thing we need is basically the parent element of the form. So this is my form and the parent is this. This one is the immediate parent, let me see. Yeah, this one. And it says RM content. So I'm just going to put that there. This information of these class name selectors will be present in the description box. However, just to ensure that the page ID uh, over this number is correct by comparing with the one you have. Okay. Then we need a submit button selector. So scroll down, look for submit button. This is a submit button. Do an inspect element. We'll look for the submit button selector. So we need a unique. So we have a unique ID, which is this. So I'll just copy this. I'm going to paste it here and because it's an ID, I'm going to go ahead and put hash. So if you hover over it, it says that prefix uh, an ID with a hash. Okay, and I also need the unique body class name. So I think we already have that here. So I'm just going to copy and paste that. And make sure there's no space between the class name and the dot. And there would be a space name between these two selectors. So over here, there's a space. Okay, great. And then now do I need the mobile input field? Let's see. Do we have a mobile input field over here? No, we don't. So yes, we do need a mobile input field. We'll select yes, otherwise we'll select no. Okay, so we'll select yes because we want the mobile input field name. Otherwise, we would have needed the uh, input name uh, for that particular mobile if it was already present. Next thing we need is basically the template. So you just have to make sure that this part, which is um, in the curly braces, OTP is present in your message. Uh, else everything can be same. So you can just write your, anything you can write, you can, your OTP is, and just make sure this part is present, this curly braces, uh, within curly braces, you need to have the OTP, okay. Um, OTP name over here, okay. Brilliant, so that's all you need, guys. Uh, just scroll down and select save, and you'll see the magic on the registration magic plugin page. So let's have a look. Let's close this and let's refresh the page. <clears throat> sure enough, you can see that now we have a mobile input field name. We did have an option to put that somewhere down here, but again, every user is different and they would have different requirements. To, to make it common for everyone, we will put that just after the form. If you want any customization, you can always buy our customized version of the plugin and we can definitely do the customization for you okay great <clears throat> coming back over here so we need to put the mobile number you can see we've got the country code because we selected india if you had selected all with the premium plugin then you would have had uh, an option to enter the country code by the user okay so right now it's disabled because we've selected one country okay so all we have to do is just put mobile number over here and that's all we have to do let's see also, guys, if you notice, if you try to submit the form, it won't allow you. It says, please verify OTP first. So that's the beauty of this plugin. It won't allow the user to submit the form until unless they've verified their mobile number. If I click on send OTP, it won't work because you haven't entered the mobile number. And then if I enter only two digits, it won't work either because in the backend, we have mentioned that we need a 10-digit mobile number verification. So until unless I enter 10 digits, it won't work. So let's see, I'm going to put my mobile number here, 6011960, and click on send OTP. So now you can see that it's worked. It says OTP sent to your mobile. All I'm going to do is look at my mobile, get that OTP, put it over here, and select verify. Let's do that. So I pasted that. 
clicked on verify OTP and sure enough you can see thanks for verification and you can see that these two uh, fields have been grayed out user cannot change the mobile number once it's been verified and if you click on submit you can see that the form is started to function the way it's supposed to according to registration magic uh, plugin so no, they'll be able to submit the form once they've entered all the information there while the this input field is still grayed out great guys so um, this is how it works um, for the registration magic plugin okay you do have an option to use the forgot password uh, OTP as well which means that the user will be sent uh, a new password and they can use the same password to log in this for those users who are not really using the email uh, so if you can check that uh, if the plugin has the um, if the reg registration mag magic plugin has a login form um, then you can use that over here so similarly you can enter all this information the parent form um, selector all of this information there like we've discussed earlier input name any input name inside the form then you need the meta key so meta key is basically stored in the database if you go to php my admin go to wp user meta <coughs> select any particular user and look for the meta key and the this is the meta key name and this will be different for different um, users different uh, projects so you can check which one it is for you and then select this particular name and put it over here then you'll check save with the country code um, so whether it's the, the the mobile number is being saved with the country code you can see that it is not so you can select you know it could be different for you this section right here is for if you want the reset password uh, functionality uh, to be used okay and then you select the country code and again similarly you put the message you save changes and then on the login form page you'll be able to see uh, reset password tab right here okay great guys so i hope you did like the video if you did guys uh, please do share and subscribe and also share my plugin with others if you did enjoy my plugin please leave your valuable ratings all you have to do is come over here click on rate us now it will take you to a page which will give you the link um, to rate it explain to you how to rate it uh, it's always motivating so it's always helpful if you do then you have an option to donate us as well you can donate anything uh, for the betterment of the plugin because we're constantly improving the plugin even compared to the last version we've made lots of changes uh, to make people's life easier so you can donate us with paytm or paypal anything that you want okay uh, and also you can contact us if you want from here you've got the email address you also have tutorial section over here so you can uh, there'll be videos available over here and then you have FAQ section if you have any troubleshooting if uh, problems uh, you know sorry if you have any issues then you can troubleshoot you've got all the lists of list available over here all the frequent questions that have been asked when listed down here and then you also have an option to go ahead <coughs> and um, purchase any of our uh, premium products as well great guys so I hope uh, that was great and uh, I'll see you then uh, in the next video take care guys bye bye